Hey, everybody. So, it's Wednesday, not Tuesday, because... I skipped Tuesday because I was on a plane and I was in the UK and I was doing all this stuff. I'm sorry, I failed you. I didn't put up a Tuesday video. And I wasn't going to put up a video until Thursday for Rachel's room, but I thought to myself, no, no, I promised these little chickadees two videos a week and gosh darn it, that's what I'm going to give up. Since I just got back from the UK, literally 12 hours ago, I spent the whole 18 hour traveling time from Scotland back to America just thinking about all the things I couldn't wait to get home to and then I also thought about all the things I'm gonna miss in the UK and so I decided to come up with America versus the UK that voice though you guys can decide who wins who is going to win the battle I'm gonna give you the same amount of pros for each place and you tell me who wins when I say America I mean basically California and when I say the UK I mean just the cities I went to <laughs> Now before you call me a stupid American, I'd like to say I'm a stupid American. <laughs> I am not the most cultured person in the world, but hey, I've traveled and I try and learn things and I've experienced stuff, but hey, at the end of the day, you're gonna love your home country more than any other one. Unless you have a really bad one, then just go love another one. <laughs> America's pros. Ice. America knows how to do ice. In Europe, if you go, hey, can I have a cup of ice? They go, a what? And they hand you a glass with two cubes in it. If you're lucky, it's usually only one cube. In America, you're like, yo, can I have a Coke? And they hand you a mega freaking cup packed with ice and then filled with soda. And I've learned from my experiences that free refills don't exist as much in Europe, so that you don't want a lot of ice because then you get more drink. In America, free refills is just a standard thing. If you don't get free refills, you're like, how is this place still in business? Streets are built for cars here. America is so new as a country that cars were already in existence when we were building the place. So we built streets for cars. But in Europe, all the streets are built for horses. So they're all really narrow. So by the time cars come around, they're like, I guess we'll pave it, but you know, have fun trying to drive on them. In America, the waiters want you in and out as fast as possible because the more customers they have, the more tips they get. And because America works on tips, our waiters are nicer. Your waiter brings you your stuff fast. You don't have to ask for things because they've already brought it to you. When it's time to pay the bill, you don't have to ask for it. They literally throw it at you. And then you put down your credit card, they take it from you, they do it all, and they bring you back the bill to sign. In Europe, you have to be like, excuse, excuse me, Excuse me, can, can I get my bill? Can I get my bill? Finally, they bring you your bill and you're like, great, here's the credit card. And they just are like, oh, okay, I'll bring the machine. And you're like, what? And you have to sit for another 15 minutes for them to bring a machine over and then they do it at your table. When in America, they run away and steal your credit card for 30 seconds and you're just like, eh, I just, I'm just trusting them, I guess. There's no good plumbing in Europe. In America, we're like, you flush the toilet, it's flushed. You will never see that business again. In Europe, you're like, flush. Yep. Oh, oh. Still not? Okay, I'll have to press it again. Great. Thanks. My bed is in America. Win. <laughs> UK pros, bathtubs. You guys know how to do bathtubs. In America, we're like, you get to shower, and here's a tiny little bucket that you can call a bathtub. In the UK, they're like, the bathtubs are the room, basically. They're like, this is what you do, is you take a bath. While I never took one while I was there, I liked having that beautiful bathtub as an option. Milk and tea. You guys know that milk and tea is delicious. All growing up, I thought that was weird, and I thought it was disgusting. I never even tried it because I was so repulsed by it. Tried it in the UK. Guess what? Loved it. You guys know what you're doing. The UK knows that you can celebrate Christmas in early November. Americans think you can't celebrate Christmas before Thanksgiving. Guess what? We are the only country that celebrates Thanksgiving. So America, you, you people that have this stupid rule that you can't put up Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving, guess what? You're the only people in the world that think that because everyone else doesn't have Thanksgiving. So they know that you can celebrate and put crap up before Thanksgiving because they don't even know what day Thanksgiving is. So you're wrong everyone else in America that gets mad at me for putting up my de decorations in November. You're wrong because you're the only people that think that the majority of the world does not agree with you. Therefore, you're wrong. <sighs> America 
things you can't celebrate two holidays at once. So you can't put up Christmas decorations when Thanksgiving hasn't happened. The, the rest of the world has already got their Christmas decorations up by the time you eat your turkey. Listen, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving feast is my favorite meal. Mashed potatoes, corn, turkey, deviled eggs, olives, all of this goodness. I love that stuff, but it's okay to have a Christmas tree behind you when you eat it. Europe, you win! Another great thing about the UK, they have Lee the Leprechaun. If you don't know who Lee the Leprechaun is, watch my vlogs on my vlog channel. You will fall in love with him. He is a bitter little leprechaun, but also a pretty little leprechaun. Because America is so young, we don't have much culture. The UK is filled with culture. They have so much, they have so much history, and the buildings there are phenomenal because they're old. We performed in a theater that was older than America. Mind blown. What? That's amazing. All right, that's it for this video. Please comment below. Please tell me more pros for each country. I don't want cons. I don't want why a country sucks. I want why a country is great. Let's not be negative. Let's not say why one's stupid. Let's say why one's great, all right? Let's just keep this positive. Even though I just got really, I, wouldn't, I didn't get angry. I got passionate. I just got passionate about the Christmas thing and the ice thing. Be more positive than me, guys. Do what I say, not what I do. And make sure to subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I know my videos have been a day later, so, but guess what? I'm back. I'm in it to win it. Ugh. I had coffee before this video. Can you tell? <laughs> Remember, guys, stay awesome, possums.